Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Let's see, you have water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces being significant. And you have open up your heart again. Okay, so there's a water sign um, who's opening up their heart to you. And got the king of cups right there at the front oh my goodness and the four of wands this might be a twin flame thing going on here um the 11 11 okay virgo so if you have a connection with a water sign it could be anywhere in their chart sun moon rising or venus looks like um there's an opening up of the heart this some type of um celebration reunion coming forward with this king of cups Wow, you got the Ten of Pentacles as well. This person wants to like settle down with you. Yes. Settle down. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Um, I feel like this person, I don't now the King of Cups doesn't generally walk around with an open heart. They have a big heart, but they don't generally express their emotions like um very easily they're they're very selective with expressing their feelings um their words are quite choice so if they want to express how they feel um it's more of a quality statement than saying it a lot um they're they're people of very few words but when they speak there's a very fluid uh a fluidity to their expression of feelings and uh, the opening up the heart you know the heart is just muscle and and, and blood <laughs> so it, it's just a it, and the blood is very like potent i kind of feel like so this person this water sign this king of cups masculine or feminine of course there may be some type of a holiday celebration coming up like of course it's christmas too um and if you don't celebrate christmas and you have another holiday celebration it's that and also just some kind of reunion i feel like this person um wants to be uh, in a committed relationship with you and uh, even it could even be marriage there's the knight of cups so yeah you've got a water sign coming in making a proposal to you between now and uh through january okay definitely a love offer okay um, proposing or, or proposing an idea of coming together this person is very melancholy and is a bit sad um, hmm. there's there's remorse here maybe even some guilt or a feeling of um, abandonment or loss with this king of cups I'm seeing a lot of poinsettias and I'm seeing a pilot as well oh wow the tower massive change coming through here from this person this water sign we have scorpio energy here with the tower also aries there is a feeling of like i'm just give, they're giving me that old song burning down the house <laughs> do you remember who who sang that i can't remember i, I see them in my mind i see the video from the 80s <laughs> in my mind but i can't remember the name of the group of course because I just can't access that part of my brain very quickly. It comes later. But um, yeah, I'm just hearing like burning. Uh, there might even be specifically an apology or um, guilt about a fire. And someone like burned down this King of Cups, burned down some house. It could be symbolic, but also. Um, oh, OK. Oh, all right that's interesting so i'm going to be very careful the way i say this here but if it's a masculine if you this is a very phallus symbol and those look like little spermy sperms <laughs> little swimmers there might be this um someone apologizing for not being able to have children feeling guilty about that not necessarily apologizing but feeling really guilty and wants to try again okay and so obviously that's for a certain age group but there is that energy playing out just really quickly it may not be for all of you um but yeah an apology or again just a guilt and remorse for something that fell apart or just got destroyed okay and so that opening up of the heart 
I feel like um, there's going to be some type of communication as well. So, uh, this King of Cups expressing their feelings for you, telling you that they love you and that they want to be with you or they want to rebuild that house again. Um, Our house in the middle of the street. Our house. Yeah. Or rebuild the house for some of you, symbolically or specifically. Okay. Seven of Swords. Okay. A little bit like the reading you just had. There is this... <clears throat> Oh, something to do here with children are paying uh, for a car paying off um, paying off a car did somebody steal your car Virgo this person take your car <laughs> take your car in your house what's going on um, I feel like somebody was running away this king of cups running away and they're slowly making their way back to you and they are uh, coming your way as well or they might have they might have run away or they've been away and just kind of like, what happened here? They have um, some remorse. Let me see. Oh, this high priestess keeps showing up. The page of cups. Oh, there's something here about silence. Uh, I feel like this, this king of cups didn't share their emotions or their feelings or anything with you before. And it, 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 there's this, Page of Cups can be my apology card too, but there is this, like, want to talk to you and actually open up the heart and tell you how they feel. I mean, and they're very direct here with this chariot. So this is an energy of someone who's putting it out there. You know, they know exactly what they have to do. Bringing balance back to a situation. This person, like I said, the King of Cups doesn't usually share their deepest deepest inner feelings um, and mostly it's because um, they have a fear of losing control they can be a bit controlling uh, and or they um, if it's a Scorpio they can be a bit kind of controlled controlled chaos <laughs> kind of um, to open up and be vulnerable means to a Scorpio certain ones that um, they could get hurt because they feel things very deeply, extremely deep, their emotions. Um, now, if you're dealing with a cancer, um, they can open up their heart, but it feels like a lot of the water signs have a control thing, but it's mostly for protection, to protect themselves, not to hurt others. Pisces can be very open with the heart, um, but they also keep things within pretty deeply. Yeah, so if there was something that you needed from this person before that sharing, I mean, Virgo, you're not exactly open with your emotions either because you tend to protect yourself as well. So, and like I said in the reading yesterday, um, Virgo, you might be more inclined to open up your heart to someone who, if they do it first, or you will kind of like tiptoe and get to it but kind of slowly so i feel like there is a little bit of similarity here between you and this other person um there might have been more defensiveness than anything or there might have been an opening up and another person might have just shut it down and now it's like gonna happen again there's gonna be some type of communication love coming in there's a queen of cups showing up here. Okay, so definitely confirmation that this is a water sign. That's three times now. Anything else Virgo needs to know about this situation here? Because I feel like this person's seriously in love with you. The magician, the six of cups. Look, I feel like we get a lot of repeating cards. Um, There's definitely a new beginning happening here. This person is very attracted to you, Virgo, like beyond anyone they've ever felt attraction for. Um, you just resemble someone who is very independent and stable and beautiful, handsome. Um, and there may even be this... I feel like this person wants to have some type of interaction with you if it can't be love if you shut that down they may say to you okay well can we just be friends 
okay can we just be friends this person with the magician can be like um a dancer or a singer um or they're in some kind of performance so they they do things as a job for other people but they they might be on um like a video or they do things on a video or they do things um could be like working in um the entertainment industry as well or um they have like a they might even be a craftsman or a craftswoman someone that does crafts and then they kind of put on a show i'm just hearing that could be you too virgo all right yeah ace of cups so there's a new start in love here there's definitely a new beginning for some of you this could be somebody brand new might not be somebody who is um coming back around it, it, it honestly i have to tell you because you have the six of cups and then you have the ace of cups it's it's both for some of you this is somebody coming back around and for others this is somebody new coming in okay so you're just gonna have to wait and see how that plays out but i feel like it's both here let's take a look at your energy virgo what's going on with you all right that almost wanted to flip but we'll take it okay you have judgment well of course you do virgo let's take a look i mean i feel like you're open you're clear about things you have no problem opening up your heart to this per well you won't have any problem opening your heart up to this person it looks like um but you probably will have some judgment on them you might have a judgment formed already or you may place judgment on them okay you've got the fool or you might also just be like not judging them and just letting it go and just having that free energy around you and i feel like you you would want to have some kind of reunion with this person if it was offered which i think it is and get together you would be interested to date this person um i feel like you have clarity at this time in your life like you're free you look like you're free or going forward you you definitely are like whatever i'll take the risk you know um why <laughs> virka why because i feel like you are um okay with yourself do you know what i mean like it doesn't like i feel like i don't feel like you'll take a risk and then give your soul to someone and then lose it all i feel like you're you know who you are and you're not only interested you want i don't i feel like you would be open to not only dating this person but uh, taking it real lightly and make, keeping your options open um, but i feel like you need someone that's going to be open with you before you are open with them so it looks like you may reconcile with this person here's a death card ending just like the last one yeah okay that's double scorpio there so you might have a connection with a scorpio and aquarius is there as well and there's the capric the capricorn the devil death and the devil no more toxic bs come clean that's you no more toxic bs come clean let it all out tell me everything open up your heart that's your mantra that's how it has to be for you um you're not bound that's what i was saying even with the fool it's kind of like you know even with judgment it's like you're free i feel like you are free you don't feel bound like your energy it looks to me like you are well i mean i i am um, i can live without you i don't i wouldn't I wouldn't like to live without you but i could so you're just not like desperate i don't see any desperation here with you so i feel like it's real positive for you you're you're stable you seem to be very stable so if somebody comes in and opens your heart you're more than willing to listen and talk to them and open yourself up and if there's an opportunity for commitment with the hierophant which is taurus um yeah you'll be down with it but it has to be like traditional has to be in some type of order um it can't just be flailing all over the place with in and out type of energy it has to be like um sealed like a sealed deal for you otherwise you're nope i'm out 